Hello guys, my name is Joel Mukanya. I'm a CEO and founder at JTTOS. For today's video, we're going to cover some examples on operators using C-Sharp in 2022. Let's first define an operator. It's a symbol that tells a compiler to perform a specific uh, logic. We have different type of operators, uh, arithmetic, assignment, comparison, and logical operators. Our first example will be an arithmetic operator, whereby it's going to, we're going to cover addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, modulus, increment, and decrement. All right, so one of the things that we need to provide some clarifications, um, which will be modulus. So you can see what I have here. We say, when we say 11 mod two, it means that we need to divide it by two so that we can get a final result, which is one. Then you need to divide uh, 11 by 2, then you get 5, then after that you divide 5 by 2, then it will be 2, then 2 you divide again by 2, then the remainder will be 1. So when we say one, 11 more 2, we're expecting is a result of 1. And then another thing that I, I want to provide some clarification is will be about increment and decrement. So increment, if you say num1, uh, increment by 1. So this is going to increment by 1, and then this is going to decrement by 1. But in this case, it's not going to change any value. But if you run the statement below this, then you will see it will display 7. But for now, it's not. I'm going to explain by using increment. Increment, uh, in this case, it's going to be, in this scenario, it will be uh, it's going to use number one and then increment later on. But if you want to see the change for now, as you specify the increment or decrement, you need to specify before the variable. Then to increment and use the value. So let's run our program. Here is our result, and then as you can see on modules, as we expected to see one, and here we go. And then on increment, we have 12, except for decrement, we still have eight. Okay.
Our next example will be based on assignment operators. As you can see that we've already make use of uh, equal sign, which is going to allow us to assign value to a variable. And then plus equals to, it's going to allow us to, to get the sum, but the sum will be stored on the on the uh, left variable. So when we say num1 plus equals to num2, the sum of these two variable or two operand will be stored on num1. Same thing apply with the rest of operators, such as minus equals to, divide equals to, and so on. Let's run again our program to see the result. Then we, we got 19. 11 plus 8 is 19. Okay. So let's create an example on comparison operator. So on the comparison operator, it's going to allow us to compare two operands. So let's make use of some examples. Then we we'll say num1 is greater than num2. Right. We have a uh, greater than whereby it's going to allow us to check if the num1 is greater than num2. Uh, great or equals to, we allow us to check for two things, is, is great than or is equals to. So equals to, it means that they share the same value, to test if they share the same value. Less than. Less than will be to check if num1 is less than 2, and if that, is the, if that is the case, then it will be true. Otherwise, it will be false. Less or equals to. Um, uh, the next thing is going to be equals to. To check if they share the same value, not equals to. Okay. Let's just make sure that we save our work. Then let's run it again. Here we go. As you can see, 11 is not less than 8 or equals to 8. Then is it the same value? No. And then you can see that not equals to false. It's true. I mean, true. Because equals to is false and then not equals to is true. Because um, they, they don't share the same value.
So on the logical operator, uh, we have to combine. It actually giving us an opportunity to combine multiple conditions. We will say um, now. Okay. So in this case, I need to create some two other variables. And then we have uh, logs and bonus. You can see uh, 350 comma 45 cents. So if when we run it, we're going to get an error because this uh, it's expecting uh, uh, the compiler uh, expecting this to be a double. So to fix it, we need to place uh, f after our value. Uh, we just have to say. Um, Age is greater than 17 and our bonus is great. Um, I'm just going to say this great or because it's 18 and bonus is greater than 100. So if we have our condition as it is, um, I think we're going to expect some uh, some bugs. So a bug is actually um, something it's going to produce a wrong result. So that is the meaning of bug in programming. So to avoid that, we need to wrap them uh, each condition on the, uh, on on the parentheses. We have to wrap them instead of the parentheses. Then it will actually the parenthesis is going to force the compiler to get the result of those first. Then after that, perform the letter against the end operator. So it will this one will be true and this one will be also true because it's written hundred. Then if both are true, then the final result will be true. If one of the condition is false, the entire thing becomes false because that is actually what and intended to do. Then we have all. So if uh, at least uh, with all, if uh, at least we have uh, true, then everything will come true. Then in this case we'll say not. Then we have age is pay ten or equals to eighteen. So if uh, this statement is true, then when you specify not before that, then it becomes false. And then if it was false, then it will become true. So let's test our program to see what we have. Mm, okay. Um, we're missing a semicolon. So let's try our program again. Alright. So we got true, true, false. What if uh, this one was uh, less than 100? Then this will be false, uh, the next line will be true, and then that will be true.
because it was no this one would be false because uh, we see focusing on age not uh, bonus so, so we have uh, two false and one true all right thank you guys please subscribe share and like the video bye